Hello everyone. I'm guessing you've seen a lot of people in avatars ranging from animal ears, guys and girls, to robots, and including many, many more things. And you were curious about how it was done. Or possibly on the other hand, you may already know what a VTuber is. And you may want to join in on all of the fun. And just a small disclaimer here, this isn't a get rich quick plan, as some people generally think it is. But if you're willing to give it a shot, then firstly, you're going to need to figure out what type of content best suits you. For example, you could be a rather talented artist, and this avatar could be your mascot, for example. Or for some people, maybe shy, and it's another way of communicating. And whether it's a 3D avatar or a 2D one, you can always change styles, genres, over time. You might even come to hate your original design, for example. And also, I know of a few people who started off doing art commissions and changed into a more comedic role. It all depends on the individual. Or you can just generally go with the flow and give everything a try. Chill out with your friends, play games, and mingle with your community. When you're starting off, you don't have to spend an absolute fortune on either buying a model from a bunch of the talented people in the community whether it be 2D or 3D, depending on what type of style you're after. But if you happen to know what you'd like, that would generally be better. And let's say you wanted to be yourself, you're welcome to. For example, making an avatar that more or less resembles yourself. Or if you really want to, turn yourself into a cute waifu. And if you're really creative, you can make things like dragons, yokais, and all sorts of mystical beings. You can even be a toaster if you really wanted to. And you can honestly do all of these things either by yourself, if you happen to be fairly talented, without spending a single penny. But if you've got to this stage of the video, I'm generally sure you have the patience enough to make your own. And literally going back at least a year, compared to when most individuals started, there's now a ton of tutorials all, all over the place showing you how to make things. For example, I have a video showing how to make a straw hat. But enough of my rambling. Some of you may have already watched groups like Holly Live and are wondering how they make their avatars. Most of these models tend to be 2D, which you can technically get a free trial and give it a go, as far as I can recall. And you can generally tinker away for about a month and a half until you will eventually have to pay for the service. But unless you happen to be rather talented at drawing, or well, you're able to learn pretty quickly how to rig, meaning being able to make the avatar move around. I would say this type of model has a higher skill ceiling. But if you're creative enough, you can make some really outstanding types of models. Another disclaimer, once the free trial is over, you'll possibly have to pay about 10 to 15 dollars so maybe around 10 to 12 pound to keep the program but if you happen to actually get pretty good at this type of software you can possibly make your money back rather quickly and if you end up making a 2d model or, or buying one you'll have to have a software to run it which would be prpr which as far as i can recall is absolutely free the only thing you'll need is your avatar and a webcam for tracking. And if I don't forget, I'll leave the link in the description for the live 2D cubism. The easier point of entry, in my personal opinion, is 3D if you happen to know how to use Blender. Make a more complex model, like some of the people in the Shoujo. So this video might not be the right place for you if you happen to be adequate enough at Blender. But if you happen to have no modeling expertise, for example, being an absolute beginner or close enough to one like me, Vroid Studio may be more up your alley. And you can either download it from its main site by putting in Vroid Studio in any search bar. And it should be one of the first searches to pop up. But if you happen to have any trouble finding it, I'll throw this one in the description too. Vroid Studio is great to get used to for making avatars. And once you get good enough at it, you can make some really good models from it.
This program is very similar to an in-game character customization, but it does have its flaws and limitations. Another way to get this program would be to, if you already have a Steam account, you can always type it into their search bar as well and download it for free. It should be free in all the places you're looking for it. Once you've made your avatar or possibly purchased one, you more than likely need a program to emulate your avatar. And all of these programs that I'll be talking about either will need a webcam as a tracker. There are some particular ones that don't need a webcam. They use your mouse movement, but I'll go into that on another video if anyone wants to hear about that. A lot of people when they first started would have, would have used Luppet. At the time, it was the best program to use. But if you generally wanted to keep this as cheap as possible, I doubt you would like to fork out $40 on a piece of software if you're not fully invested. That honestly only has one purpose. Or if you also happen to make a decent amount of money from this endeavor, you may have to update your license, which could shoot up to some silly digits. And if I recall correctly, it was ranging in the couple of hundreds to thousands zone. Or if you happen to have a VR headset, you can possibly use the program Suva, which happens to have a cheap price for the software. But the cons of this one is you'd have to have a VR headset and trackers, which for some of you, you might not have a PC powerful enough to run VR. But now we have some free alternatives, all thanks to the community. And the one I personally use is VC Face. I honestly think it's a great program and it's sleep motion compatible, which allows movement. So you'll be able to move your arms and hands. But I'll more than likely go into the leap motion and where you can buy one and the general movement in another video. And also don't forget to add a streaming or recording software, which I would personally advise you to use OBS due to it has less bloatware compared to the slobs variant of the same program. But if you'd like to know more about any other parts of YouTubing, i.e. programs, or technology, I'll try to help out to the best of my ability. Or generally point you in the correct direction of someone more experienced in that particular sector. And I hope this is useful to at least a bunch of you. And make sure to have a wonderful day or night. Make sure to take care. Bye now.